Hey folks, welcome back. So, quick recap. We are Bearded Roland, we are an Esper at level 15 right now, and our current quest is to go up here to Gridgate, which will give us the quest to go to Golgotha. The thing is, we don't really need to sweat that right now. There's a thing about Golgotha that this is really scary and really tough, and uh, we need to be prepared for that. I want to be at least, the very, very least, level 20 before going there. And um, five levels at this point is not, um, yeah, it's not trivial. So we have to do a bunch of stuff, but we have a bunch of stuff to do, so that's great. So uh, what we're currently doing is going here to that town. I've never been there before. I've wanted to go there a few times, but I've always died before getting there because of something stupid. And um, the interesting thing is directly next to the town there's this, and I'm pretty sure that this is another historical site. And um, seeing that this one that we have already explored yielded a permanent stat increase for us, so, uh, or yeah, something like that. This could be very interesting, so I'm kind of excited to check that out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go first here and then here. That is the plan. Okay, alright. So, one more thing, like, I guess now to the northwest of us, if I remember correctly, there were a few Knight Templars. And uh, I'm not a big fan of that, so we're going to be really careful about this. And I think there was some mind sundering, yes indeed. And um, yeah, we're basically just going to go sort of on foot here through the jungle. I'm going to kill every goat man that we will, that I, that I encounter. Just so that, uh, oops, there's another one, yeah. So a seed guy. The good thing is we are a ranged weapon guy. We don't really have, we're not really using ranged weapons, but we are using ranged attacks with our mental mutations. And that is our main way to attack. And that's really, really a good thing that has really proven to be great because um, we can do a lot of things to keep enemies away from us. Of course, these guys are kind of rough. So, just have to be ca careful that they don't blow us up completely. Let's take a look at our inventory. I think, yeah, we have a bunch of goat meat. That's okay. We have a ton of vine wafers. We have some witchwood bark. If we need healing, that is good. That will confuse us, but it will, it will be all right. Let's harvest. Oh, that was 10 star apples. <laughs> that is 10 pounds. I still think that star apples should be a little bit lighter. They should not be one pound each. I think there's actually a thing that items cannot be below one pound. They can either be one or zero. And I feel like this is actually, there should be more nuance there. Um, I don't know, it's probably not trivial to implement, so that's probably the reason why it isn't there yet, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Another goat man. Oops. Let's do some fire burning here. Kill that guy. Yes, it's dead. And let's rest for a bit, just to recharge our lasers, and let's keep going. Need to be careful about these um, these rivers here, and these bodies of water, because they can have mad poles, and mad poles will dismember you. Oh yeah, what are you? He did a thing here. Let's. Goat folk Soa. Okay. And it's dead. Okay. Oh shit. This is kinda bad. Let's go away. Let's go away. Let's go away. I think we can deal with this. Oh yeah, it's a boss. It's a goat boss. Oh no. This could be a problem. This could be a huge problem. You know what? Hey. Buddies, I'm going to bring in my folks, and you're going to do some damage here, please. 
They're pushing me down. <laughs> okay, and they are gone. Where is... where are those guys? So I don't know if we... I think we, we did not kill him. That is for sure. Oh, snakeskin armlet. That's good. I'm going to get those and I'm going to get the... Pl oh, I cannot... I cannot actually use the plastifier gloves because I don't really have the thing for that. But I can use the snakeskin armlet. Let's do a manual equipment. Um... Yeah, we can put it on our arm because there's nothing on that yet. Yes. What I'm also gonna do is I'm going to drop five star apples because it's a little too much. Let's eat one of those and yeah. Okay. Alright. Raw goat meat. Oh, that's too much goat meat. Grandfather horn. Naftali corpse. Okay. I think the boss is still around somewhere. Maybe he went back. Um. Yeah, but we did some good damage there, so that went quite alright. This could have gone worse. But uh, let's be a little careful here. Okay, there was something there. Okay, it's a killipede. Killipedes are alright. We're hitting diminishing returns with them. It's not a lot of experience. Yeah, I think we killed them. But there wasn't really the thing about, hey, you lost this much reputation with these guys and so on. So I wonder what that was. I guess what probably happened is there were also some pygmies around there. And yeah, probably one of them killed the goat boss. It's probably something like that. Oh yeah, hello, you. Let's just kill the mad pole. Yep, that's not. We have to be really careful not to get too close to them, because that's gonna mean death. That's gonna mean a terrible, horrible, 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 horrible death. So, uh, where are we? We are here, okay. Let's be really... C see, there's another one. Sometimes they just hide out in the water like this. Like, even in these really small bodies of water. So, yeah. Just have to be careful not to accidentally step into it. Because uh, that can... That can mean doom. <laughs> And I'm not into Doom right now. <laughs> I like Doom as a game, but, uh, you know, when playing Caves of Cud, I like it to be relatively Doom-free, if you catch my drift. So, oh yeah, we have eight laser charges right now. So this is actually kind of... we're actually not... Like, the laser charges are not as much as a problem anymore. So that's good. Our main issue right now is carry capacity. I just need to see if I can actually get rid of what is... Yeah, food is a lot. All that goat meat. And all those soa seeds. I think they are it's kind of too many, but uh, yeah. we have anything else? That Borderlands revolver, we can drop that. We have those recoilers. We have a lot, yeah, we really have a lot of trade goods. And we're carrying kind of too much water, actually. Oh well, oh well. And don't take the goat meat, Jesus Christ. Oh well, whatever. It's okay, we can probably deal with this. But, uh, yeah. Would love another sphere of negative weight or something like that. So, kill the goat folk. Yeah, eat some meat, that's alright with me. Another sower seed person. We have 13 right now. That's a lot of weight, but uh, what we could actually do, you know what? 
We're going to a town and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chest somewhere in that town. Just so that we can, let's get it, yep. Let me take a look at that chest actually. Where is it? Miscellaneous chest, yeah. It's two pounds because there's a copper nugget in it, okay. Jungle the shallows, okay. Let's keep going northeast. Yeah, and just kill a bunch of goat folk that are around. Level 16, awesome. Okay, so butchery first aid, that works out well. Yeah, we could get lunge, but we're not gonna really use that, so. Pistol. You know what? I'm gonna get wayfaring. Wayfaring, and I'm going to get... Oh no, we can't get that. We don't have enough intelligence for it. But, uh, you know? Let's get the canyons for now. Alright. Oh, there is a caravan. Good, hello. What do you have? Really nothing. A grid cage recorder. Hmm. We already have one. Also, I picked up a chem cell. So we're gonna get this chem cell, definitely. Um, what are the spectacles for? I'm not really sure. Vision correcting. Mm. So we already have a grid gate recoiler, don't we? Yes. So we don't really need another one. And they don't really have a lot of other stuff. We're going to get all the ammo. As always, um, yeah, to get rid of that and then we would already get more stuff than we need. Like more water. It's too much water. Um, yeah, let's get rid of these boxes of crayons, I guess. I'm going to make maps. If I need, I don't, I'm not going to use them, I'm going to make maps on paper. Okay, do you have bandages? No. You don't really have anything, these weird artifacts seem to be grenades. Um, yeah, oh no, you have a bandage, let's get that bandage. Because bandages don't weigh anything, as always. Yep, let's pony up some water, and we are good to go. Okay, this was a bit of a letdown, this caravan. But, uh, it's okay. The good thing is we got another full, we got any, another full chem cell out of it. And, um, I'm already pretty fine with that, I must say. So we actually have enough juice for the recoilers, and that is kind of the thing that I need. So let's put one of these, oops, replace cell, this low chem cell in it. I wonder if low is actually enough, I'm not really sure. Hey. Good for shaman. We're on fire. Oh yeah, that's a lot of experience. That's a lot of experience, that's good. Yeah, the, and the shamans give you, like, twice the experience as everything else, and that's nice. Okay. It can be pretty dangerous, I think, but um, right now it actually worked out fine. Was there a goat? No, I think it was just one of the... One of the leeches, indeed. Okay. Let's go north. There are hostiles nearby. Which hostiles? Oh, you. One of, one of the normal leeches. Not very fun. Okay. That's another one of them. Something happened over here. Oh yeah. Hello. It was you. Kill them. Good. Alright. Hey, one more level and we can get another mutation. That's always fun. And that's a great thing. Like these. Uh, it always gives you something to look forward to. Every four levels. Oh, I like that a lot. 
Okay, there was another guy. Yes, you. They can always take a few hits. Like the other... Oops. The other goat folk guys, they die a lot quicker. But, uh, you know, that's okay. You're gonna freeze for a bit, please? Yes. And I'm now I'm gonna murder you while you are frozen. So, oh, let's rest up a bit. Do some extra resting. Okay, and there's another one. Alright, good. Fantastic. So, where are we? Yes, we're over here. Let's go east. Let's keep going east. Well, this is a pretty thick jungle now. Which is... I usually don't like that all the... Oh, damn. There's a shotgun guy. Well, not shotgun. I think those are desert, desert rifles, what they are using. I usually don't like thick jungle because you can't really see if there's anything super nasty. So, yeah. That's some more goat meat. It's okay. Okay, there's an albino ape. Just gonna murder that thing. Yeah, 150. That's fine, I guess. I mean, the goat folks still give us a lot, and 150 isn't bad. So, yeah. That's kind of the good thing about the jungle. You can really use that to... Uh, to level up quite a bit. Like once you can hang here and kill the goat folk without being in too much danger, which is, um, I guess, like level 10, 11, 12, depends on the build that you are playing, you're gonna be at that point. And uh, yeah, and you can really, you can really get some good training over here. Like the goat folk can be a little scary, but uh, it's not too bad, honestly. It's not too bad. The problem in the jungle is always bosses. So if you if you have a hostile boss group, that can that can that can be tough. So we oh yeah, have block. There's something going on there. It's a killipede. Okay. Take out the killipede. Let's take out this guy. I think he bombed another guy. I don't know what that was. Naftali. Naftali, I think. I think they. Yeah. Naftali is the name. I think they were called pygmies earlier. I mean, they changed that. Yeah. That might be culturally inappropriate. In <laughs> I'm not really. I'm not all that sure. Um. Didn't really, you know, it wasn't really a word that I was familiar with, but it might be a little problematic. So uh, it's good if they changed that. I will just call them Naftali. That's probably a better idea. What do we have? Shotgun shells, nylon body pack, and another semi automatic pistol. Good. So we're going to. Let's have a look at this. We have another Borderlands revolver. That's going to be removed. No! I'll keep that. I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to put in the semi-automatic pistol. Reload the thing. And uh, let's go. Alright, good. Let's go north. Okay, so that's the historical site of the Sherkukesh Mirror Quadrangle. Gave us a bit of experience, and there's some stuff here. Haunt Chameleon, Cult of Zarashir. Okay, Gershworms. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna go in there yet. We could exp oh, there's some shooting going on. Something is shooting at us. Giant beetle. Okay. Yeah. Let's take out these things. Arconaut. Yeah, he has a poison gas grenade, so let's see if we can take this guy out before we can throw that thing. Yes. Okay. We need to be a bit careful here. Oh yeah, these guys are shooting at us. That's what's happening. Oh fuck. One of them has a 
gun. That's kind of bad news. Malcolm is dead. Let's rest a bit. Let's continue. Whoops, you had a grenade. One bad news, yeah. I think it's just a Borderlands revolver, is it? Okay. There's the entrance downstairs. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> something is burning over there. I don't know what exactly that is, but I think something I think he dropped dead on a campfire. And that's what will happen if that happens. <laughs> okay, there's another thing, another giant beetle. Let's take a look at these shrines, once we've gotten rid of these guys here. Yeah. Okay. Shrine to Judocht, the Eckars Ikarsipad Scourge. In 212, a corrupt administrator was appointed minister of the godless monarchy of Ikarsipad, the outlawed association with robots. And Judocht was forced to flee, because he associated with robots, I guess? And Yudocht again. Throughout the entirety of 225, Yudocht plundered all of Yuva, looting all the jewels from the homes of highly entropic beings and vines. She, oh, it's a she. She became known as the Yuva Bane. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing. I'm going to take. I think the guy just burned himself because he stayed at a, at a campfire. <laughs> uh, good. Good. Oops, okay, we should be careful about that gas. Gosh, worms. Oh. There's a... There's an Equimax, and he's hostile, so... Let's not get stunned by the Equimax. Just freeze it and kill it, yeah. It's not really all that, uh... The Equimax was hostile because of, you know, because that cult is hostile, because it was part of that cult, and that was the problem. What are you? Hmm, scaled patchwork coat. Watervine merchant, yeah. Walking stick, okay. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. Um, oh yeah. Man, what was he... <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, he has apparently been butchering quite a lot. And he has been keeping all that blood? Holy fuck. This is creepy. Holy shit. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Take a look at this real fast. Cold resist. Unchild reptiles, okay. Jesus. This is crazy. Well. Good thing that guy's dead, right? So what are you? He's a rubber gun tonic, okay. That's what we are seeing. Um, just gonna deep freeze that guy. Yep. Do a laser, and that's good. All right. And we took a lot of water now. Um, that's obviously not great. So, 12 drams. Let's drop this one. We have way too many empty water skins. Let's get rid of a bunch of them. All right. Okay, I think we have sort of mostly cleared out the surface. Yep, and we can go downstairs soon, but first I want to go to the town. Hostiles nearby, okay. <clears throat> yep, so let's just, I think if we just go east, we should get to the town relatively quickly. So that's good. I think he exploded himself. Well, good job with that. That just denied us the experience. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this in the next video. Because, uh, yeah, that's enough.
Thanks for watching, and uh, next time we're gonna go to town, quite literally.